All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back to another episode in the adventures of Ron Baringsworth in Westeros. Today, we find him standing in the throne room of King's Landing, just in front of the Iron Throne, newly captured by his hands. And, I mean, you can damn near say single-handedly by his hands, because that battle last episode, I, I've, I've quite literally never done anything like it. Almost 5,000 troops in that battle, and we broke the kill record multiple times over. Ron had like 850 kills in a single battle. That's that's unheard of. I've never I've never done anything close to that. So, with that being said, it only took him a few hours of sitting down on that iron throne to remind himself of just how bad he missed being king. Just how much he missed having no one above him, no one to order him around, no one to make cowardly decisions, to peace out with the veil right when Ron has him by the throat. Yeah, I'm talking about you, King Rob. Ron is going to have to have some words with you today. Also, I hope you guys appreciate the new drip. I mean, look at this. You guys have been roasting me in the comments for the longest time that I never updated Ron's uh, civilian outfit, never bought him anything new. Well, how about this? I think this is quite literally King Baratheon's outfit. Although I will say, it's not as loose around the middle as I would have thought. <laughs> Maybe Ron is just that hoggishly big that uh, it works. Also, fun fact, um, our masterwork uh, two-handed Valyrian steel blade counts as a civilian item. So you can just, you know, carry this around on the street and uh, no one minds. Maybe that's just because it's Ron. Actually, it's probably definitely what it is. So, anyways, with that being said, today is the day we Ron rebels and officially declares himself king of the seven kingdoms all of westeros and to be fair we're gonna take out essos too this let's play so with that being said we have some prep work to do let's get started all right and here we are i'm not gonna lie it never gets old looking at king's landing man the new capital of ron's empire god the red keep just looks so good i mean this this uh custom model and then can we even see it from here the eerie the eerie has a sick custom model i love it uh, anyways, so you can tell we just finished the battle for this thing and just dis dispersed to the army because there's like 20, 30 of our vassals here about to just curb stomp what remains of the Westerlands. Honestly, I can see the Westerlands as a faction being officially defeated in the next week or two because we just have so many small lords that individually are going to be fast enough to catch all these guys, but in the total numbers needed to just stomp them. Yeah, I can see them going down pretty quick. Anyways, so... Back to Ron's Rebellion. What do we need to do? Is this Yorn? Oh, hey, Yorn. Uh, what do we need to do? So, we need two main things. We need troops, and we need money. Now, on the money front, we're looking pretty good. 425,000 dinars in the bank. And with Ron being a master smith at this point, he can just print money by crafting his uh, custom King Robert Baratheon memorabilia hammers. That I mean, these things cost us... Barely any iron, low tier iron at that. They sell for 5k each. Honestly, it, it's so easy to craft up like 10, 20, 30 of these a day that it's quite feasible that Ron is going to be able to craft these faster than any town is going to be able to afford them. <laughs> I think, I mean, it's a good problem to have. I think we're going to have to end up going to multiple towns just to sell all of his wares. So. On the money money front, I'm not feeling too bad. I think I want to get up to at least 750,000 dinars. Maybe a million. Maybe we just make it a, a cool round million dinars. That's enough that we never have to worry about running out of dinars in any near term. Um, on the troop front, this is where it gets a little more complicated. So, King's Landing, I checked, can hold up to 600 troops in the garrison. And then... Additional, it gets its own militia, but you can't freely withdraw from the from the militia. So, 600 troops in the garrison. Already has 150 in there so far. We have 164 of the best, most elite troops in the game already sitting here. On top of that, we have a whole bunch of troops in our garrisons over here. <laughs> Forgot about these? Yeah, I almost did too. Uh, Lonely Light has 150 in the garrison. Lordsport has 300 in the garrison. Also, who... What house is this? Clan Hornwood owns half the goddamn Iron Islands. And honestly, they can have my half. So, here's what I'm thinking. 
we take all of our troops from these garrisons and we either give them to some of our companions to lead in their own smaller armies and the rest we shuttle back to King's Landing uh, to beef up this garrison. After we're done with that, we will take a decent amount of our 164 super elite units. I'm talking our giants, our triarch guardians, our northern mounted warlords, the... Oh my god. I mean, all these guys. Dragon Lord protectors, the Night's Watch protectors of the realm. We're going to drop a lot of these guys off because they're already maxed out. They're already the best they're going to be. We want to recruit one more final army before the rebellion gets started because, trust me, when war between Ron and the North, which, remind you, is the most powerful faction in the game right now, thanks to Ron's accomplishments, um, we're not going to have any downtime to just, you know, wander around Essos and recruit the best units that we can find. No, we need to do that before the war starts. So, I think we're going to make one last trip up North. We're going to hit up Castle Black and the surrounding villages. We're going to get a bunch of the Night's Watch Rangers. And then, of course, you guys know, every time we come up north, we're headed to Lorne, and we're going to grab a whole bunch of giants. I'm thinking we might, honestly, we might grab like 25 more giants. Because, like I said, this is going to be the last time we're going to have the spare time to come up here for a while. And we're going to train them all up on some whites, make a whole bunch of money that way, train up some of our new uh, companions. I think it'll work out pretty well. So, that is the general game plan. Ooh, baby! I was actually testing out to see what was going to make us the most money. Um, we just crafted a, I'm pretty sure this is Masterwork, if not Legendary, but a Masterwork Valerian two-hander. I'm going to use this. This is going to be Ron's personal one. <laughs> that is sick. Oh my sweet god, I just noticed this. There is an order offering to pay 153,000 dinars for a single two-handed sword. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Um, okay. I mean, even if that takes up a whole bunch of our Thomaskine steel, for 153k, that is more than worth it. Alright, I mean, what do they, what do they want? Can I just randomly assemble until I get the right thing? Alright, give me some time. I'm gonna find the perfect sword. Alright, here we go. I think I've made it. So, um, it actually took the most damaging blade that there is this is ice this is Jon Snow's blade I believe um we are almost there it's almost perfect we are just missing one swing cut damage but because of Ron's smithing perks we automatically get bonus damage to that so I think this should do it and it's only costing us 10 Thamaskine steel and three fine steel I mean this is <laughs> this is beautiful all right let me see come on please work please work Oh, baby. <laughs> oh. Oh. My goodness. This had... Was this Masterwork 2 plus 7 swing cut damage? Wow. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Nice. Very nice. And I just noticed we got three smithing levels just for this one sword and 150k. <laughs> That is, that is obscene. I've never seen. And then look at the other orders. They're like 222 pieces of gold. <laughs> oh my god. That was sick. Look at that. We are now up to 580k. Alright, yeah. Getting to a million. Honestly, not going to be that difficult. Not going to be that difficult. My god. That was beautiful. Alright. Well, back to the, uh, the smith and grind. And I almost forgot, Ron didn't check the tavern here. This is the first time he's been inside of King's Landing now that he owns it. And there is a certain Sandor Clegane the Hound waiting uh, here for us. Wine here tastes like piss. Anyways, what do you want? Uh, I want you to tell me a little bit about yourself. I've already crossed blades with your brother, kicked his ass, stole his sword. I heard you, you're pretty good as well. This better be good, or your chicken is mine. Sandor Clegane it is. I a killer, just like all the men you see here. And don't pretend you don't enjoy it. I mean, that's fair. Ron did kill, you know, 850 people, like, about a day ago. Uh, there's no nothing sweeter than seeing a prick gasp for his last breath of air. Alright. 
A fellow with your size and attitude that is still alive must be a beast on the battlefield. I will slice a man from knave to chop. What does that mean? To chop? Hey, buddy, clear out. I'm, I'm talking to Sandor here. Uh, and not lose a wink of sleep. Just don't get in my way when I find my dear brother. Oh, my man? You hate him too? If you have work for me, we could discuss it. Yeah, I could definitely use you. 8,100? That's not even that bad. I don't even know what his stats are. Alright, welcome aboard. Look, I, you already know he's going to be good. He's going to be good in combat. You guys have been asking me to get pick up Sandor for so long now. We finally have the Hound. Now I just need... I want Jamie. I hear Jamie's like a, a recruitable companion in this mod. I have not been able to find him. I wonder if he's chilling in, like, uh, the Reach. Because we are at war with the Reach and I haven't been able to go into any of their towns. Alright, so let's check him out. The new boy. Let's see what he has. A whole bunch of people leveled up. I'll take care of that later. Sandor Clegane. Oh, baby. That's, they did a pretty damn good job with his armor. That's That looks very accurate to the show. Um, wow. 270, 280, 260 for his main melee weapon stats. 220 athletics as well. Oh, he's a beast. Oh, he's a beast. Let me see what he's got. Uh, not Clegane, Clegane. There we go. What are you, what are you using here? All right, get. We need to get this weak shit out of here. You're not using that. We got the Masterwork Valerian. I kind of wanted to use this one. We'll give him a regular one. Yeah, I mean this one's so much better than those. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, we'll give him this one. What kind of armor you guys? Is this good. Forty two, six, and four. That is pretty solid. Do we have anything better? This will be an upgrade. Yeah, Lordly Gold Cloak boots. There's an upgrade for you. You're missing a lot of stuff, dude. All right, we need to sort him out, but oh my god, can you imagine the hound with one of these axes? He's got 280 two-handed. Hey, he should be a beast. He should be a fucking beast with this. 102 weapon length? I mean, that's kind of perfect for two-handed axes, right? Yeah, I think that'll work out. We'll give him a little bit of this. Uh, is this an improvement? It actually is. That's crazy. This is actually an improvement. Ah, but he's got to wear his... This is his his custom armor. The worn hound armor. We, we got to leave that on him. Alright. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, let me quick level up our heroes. By the way, also, I uh, want to show off one of the new guys. Shaga, son of Dolph, was bought by G-Man in the last stream. And he is now... Where the fuck did he go? Shaggy, brother of Scooby. You know, from... Uh, <laughs> From Scooby-Doo. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Um, so, alright. Let me level these guys up real quick. Oh, look at this. Miranda's got 175 bow now. Um, I think this one is what we want to give her. Plus 50% zoom with bow. Uh, she's an AI. I don't think that should help. But she does. She is a captain. And negative 10% uh, projectile damage to your troops. That's great. Our guys are already the best archers in Westeros, and they're going to be even better. Like, no other archers are going to stand a chance. Um, and then more athletics? What do you, what'd you get? Ooh, more endurance. That's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, choose that. Good. So her endurance should be up to four now. Perfect. All right. I'm thinking uh, Tyrion is going to become one of our lords that's going to actually rule um, his own fief. So I think we're going to choose this one to give him the extra party size. My god, I, I kind of forgot we had all the troops uh, that we had captured. There are 483 prisoners on top of the 69 that we already have. An additional four lords on top of... Oh my... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. How many lords is this? How many lords do we have captive right now? That That is actual insanity. Okay. We're going to take all of them, and then we're going to sell a whole bunch off, right? We're going to sell a whole bunch off to the ransom broker right now. Because otherwise, they're just going to go away. Um, I need to be careful and make sure that we don't sell off the Night King at all, right? Because we're about to get a third Night King, finally. At this point, I don't care as much about these Knights of the Veil. Vale. They're taking so long. We'll leave, like, we'll keep, like, one. Just so we don't lose all that, but... Oh my goodness. Alright, how much are we about to get for this? We'll go through the early ones pretty quick, and it's not going to be that much money. Like, we've done all this, 200 prisoners, and we're only getting 4,200 for it. But it should start to go up. Okay, the 92 City Watch Veteran Crosswomen. 
I remember having to duel all those guys. That sucked. They're gone. Nice. Okay, now we're starting to get up there. The Moon Brother Berserkers. Yes, I remember remember these guys. Alright, we're getting up. Nice. Keep it going. Okay. Yup, yup. Yup. It's 23k. What are we going to do with all these lords? Fuck me. Um... We'll get rid of these guys. We don't have any progress so far on them. Jesus. I'm sorry. What? Wait, how much is this? It's... We have 36 of these... So that's literally, ha we have 36 lords held captive. I don't think I've ever had this many. I don't know what to do with this. I mean, feasibly, if we keep them in our prisoner party, we could go run around and drop them off in friendly lords garrisons and try to get a bunch of relationship that way. It's probably the best move. We don't need the money that we'd get from ransoming all these guys off, although it would be a lot. As for the Knights of the Vale, let me just do that many. Yeah, we'll keep the one. Ah, we'll keep. We'll keep like five. There, there we go. That makes it an even 30k. Sell all them off. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Um, yeah, huh. Let me uh let me look and see what fiefs are closest to us and what our relationship is with their owners. But potentially. Hmm. Potentially we can run over here and max out our relationship with a whole bunch of these vassals. Oh, especially yes, the Boltons. Uh, the Umbers already like us a lot, I think. The Risewells, I don't know if they like us all that much. Locke. Yeah, there's a bunch of different uh, houses over here. Alright, it's definitely worth our time coming over here, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just before we leave, we're actually going to kit Sandor Clegane out. So we gave him a Kingsguard helmet and uh, cloak, as well as some gloves. So now he's actually looking pretty tanky. That on top of his combat stats with this axe. We're going to be doing some damage. Ooh, interesting. This uh, decision is getting voted on. Tier 5 plus clans lose one influence per day, but the party size of their leaders is increased by 40. That includes us. I'm not sure why Rob is voting against this, but I mean, shoot, we're about to leave this thing anyways. This guy kind of likes us, but not that much. We'll vote 150 on his proposal, because otherwise this is just all going to disappear as soon as we rebel anyways. And that should give us a lot of relation, no? Oh, 35! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and we lose some relationship with uh, the Starks. So be it. Uh, I will say, the one thing I didn't consider is... Are there any of these factions that people want to declare war on? Because maybe right before we rebel, we use the rest of our influence to try to start a war. No, doesn't seem like it. And the rest of these are permanent wars, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I guess this one isn't. <laughs> I guess that one isn't. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. All right, we've almost made it over here to our fiefs. We've lost two of the 36 lords. Honestly, I thought it was going to be worse. I thought we would lose more than that. So, this has been a somewhat pleasant surprise. All right, here we go. Finally pulling into our first one, the Boltons. Now, these guys... I think they like us. Reasonable amount, no? House Bolton. Ah, whatever. I guess we'll see. Uh, go to the dungeon, donate prisoners, we come over here, and let's start with one. We'll do one at a time until we don't get any more. Okay, plus seven. Look, that's a 63 with them. All right, not bad. Hit them with another. Okay, she didn't give them anything, but that's also, that might be just because she wasn't really worth much. Uh, not uh, a lot of these guys aren't worth much. Um... I only gave us two more. Okay, we're done donating to the Boltons. We're up to... Oh, wait, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 68. God, the Boltons are pretty good. Okay, let's donate a few more to them. And then we'll move on. I mean, we have, you know, we have 34 Lords to give away. That's a lot. It's not an infinite amount, though. We can't just be giving crazy amounts away. All right. So let's give them maybe two more. Yeah, we'll do two more. Boom. That's up to 70 with them. And a little bit more, 72. All right, that was good to me. Cool, on to the next one. Uh, wait, who's this? Oh, Clan Umber. 
I want to say Clan Umber already really likes us. We've actually got a maxed out relationship with Clan Umber, so let's head over to Clegane's Keep. Uh, who are these guys? The Risewells? Riswells? Yeah, we'll go say hi to them. Oh, look at that. Yorn just gained a level. Good for him. Uh, we're about to have a whole lot more companions leading armies pretty soon. Uh, by the end of this episode, we'll probably have at least four or five, I think. I just, I still haven't made up my mind with who all is going to uh, get that tap on the shoulder. Let them know that they're going to be uh, vassals. All right. Dungeon, donate some more. Um, let's see, how much? Let's give them two to start. What do we got? Uh, these guys don't really know us all that much. They don't like us. I mean, they don't mind us. So, uh, in case you guys don't realize, the reason we're doing this, we're trying to buff up all of our relationship with all these lords, is we're going to try to recruit a whole ton of the north out from under Rob. If we can get a bunch of them to just join us without even fighting, they bring their fiefs with them. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I want that. <laughs> um, let's give them... Yeah, let's give them this many. What is this going to do? If I can get up to like 50 with them, I'd be pretty happy. Okay, plus four there for that guy. Another two. Another two. Okay, so maybe we give them... What do we need? Six more? Give them six more? <laughs> I mean, we got we got that many. We can afford that. Two, three... Who was that? Was that Cersei? Oh shit, we'll give him Cersei. Four, five, six. There we go. Honestly, that might be overkill, but who knows. Oh yeah, that was overkill. Alright, they really like Cersei. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go way past 51. Alright, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, on to the next one. What are we, where are we going next? Lannisport? The town that should have been ours, I might add. That's fine. Totally not salty about it still. Totally not salty. Ah, damn it, another one escaped. But yeah, and while we're in the area, my plan is I'm going to head up to Lordsport in Lonely Light, and we're going to start uh, either picking up and ferrying troops back, and just also, you know, having our vassals carry a bunch of them. That's probably one of the better ways, to be honest. We'll just have our companions take them, follow us, and then drop them back off. Oh, what was that? All right, so what do we got here? We have Andrew Locke, who we have a 100% relationship with. All right. Easy. <laughs> uh, let's see Clan Nori. How do these guys feel about us? Oh, another one went. Uh, oh my goodness. See, it's that clan that owns half the Iron Islands. He's walking around with an army of 1,300. He must be going down to the Reach. I guess there's not really much else going on. Alright, Brandon Nori, do you like me? These guys don't even know who the fuck I am. Okay. Well, in that case, let me introduce myself. Eleven? They should be worth a lot. Oh, actually, they do know me. Oh, shit, we might have overshot it. Oh, no, we're going straight to the top. Oh, <laughs> uh, I know that was it. Okay. 88, sweet. I've never met them, but they would die for me. That's the way we like it. Okay, and then Case here is owned by the Karstarks, and they do not like us at all. Like, I think we actually have a negative relationship with these guys. So, let's see if we can't spice things up a little bit here, huh? Give them five to start. Let's see what they say to that. Okay, boom. We're back. We're now in the positive with them at least. Okay, then just a plus two. Then another plus two. Oh, it's not that much. Okay, hold up. Plus 11. All right, not bad. We've got five of them left. Let's give them the rest. Boom. Now that you're not having my Night Kings. I need those guys. All right, there we go. All right, the Karstarks will actually like us quite a bit. Now, the real question is, honestly, maybe I should have saved some of the, uh, lords? Because now that I'm thinking, now that I'm thinking, if these guys, the Hornwoods, don't like us, that is, would be a major blow to miss out on, on kidding all them. That, that's, those are a lot of fiefs there. That'd be mighty nice to grab all those. Um, hmm. Oh, we're good. We have 92 relationship with the Hornwoods. They're, they're ride or die. Alright, so we've arrived in Lordsport. And I think I've decided on who's going to be, at least for now, leading some of our armies. So, if we go to the keep, manage our garrison, it's a thick one. 316 troops we need to haul out of here. Now, we did actually take a lot of the good units out of here, previously. Um, in order, Right before the Siege of King's Landing. We used a lot of the, the giants, the northern mounted warlords. Um... Yeah, we used up a lot of them. So, a lot of these guys, like, look at the 80 Ironborn deckhands, 59 Ironborn rowers. I don't care if these guys get lost. Although, ooh, hello. 
There's some Master Longbowmen, House Mormon Elite Mounted Huntresses. We worked hard for these guys. Some of these guys we're going to keep. Uh, so, we're going to transfer all of them over. All right? Which is, this is more than we, we can carry. I know. We pop over here to clan. And we are going to create some parties. So, let's see. First of all, Tyrion, my buddy. How many can you hold? 95. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. All right, so then we're just going to head to the bottom here. And you are going to get... <laughs> Dude, I feel like we should give him uh, at least a few better units than just that. Uh, maybe some regular Stark soldiers. We'll, we'll start from the top and work our way down. There you go. And now we'll give him... <laughs> a bunch of bad units. All right, we'll do this. Boom. There you go. All right, 95 for you. I'd like you to carry these guys over. All right. So that does mean we don't have an engineer anymore, but that's okay. We're, we're not doing any sieging right now, right now. And, uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Tyrion actually can hold 150? Oh, my goodness. Okay, see, that's why I wanted him... That was a good choice. He's, he's a good one. Another person who I think is going to be good is actually Nina Vernier. Who is pretty solid all the way around. I was kind of trying to keep most of our really good combat heroes. But we don't know too much about her. And she had some pretty good stewardship and leadership skills. So I figured, what the hell. We'll give her some of that. Uh, oh, man. Actually, they're going to be carrying a lot of our good units, huh? Wow, wow, wow. We actually have so many elite units still. Uh, okay. Give you some of these, maybe? Yeah. And then... Five of these. There you go. 80 for you. Scram. Get out of here. Um, And you know what? I feel like we should have more parties than this. All right, and just like that, we, uh, you know, because Ron is as majestic as he is... We're now able to lead uh, 10 parties. That, that, that seems a little more fair to me. Uh, who is going to be our last person? I think we are actually going to give this to Daedric God. He just has, yeah. I mean, he's got some really good stewardship. Some very good scouting. Some medicine. I think that's the move. We're going to give it to him. Yeah, oh my god, he can lead 105. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'll give you all those. And that actually does it for now. Wow, that actually does it. Huh. Maybe we should hold off on this. Hmm. Maybe we should just give him, instead of all these Ironborn rowers, which we realistically don't care as much about. All right, cancel this, cancel this, cancel this, come back. We're actually going to leave the Ironborn uh, rowers here, and then we're going to give all of the troops in there over to them. I think that'll make more sense. Okay, here we are. So, we're going to clear out these guys. Once again, not the best units, necessarily, but that's fine. Uh, give me all of them. All right. We're going to come over here. Now, right back here. And for the last party... Oh my god, they're already out recruiting. I love it. I love it. Okay. Now, for the last party, Daedra God... Boom, just like that. And we are going to give you... Um, who are we going to give you? 105, just the tier twos. We'll tell you what, we can give them a bunch of these guys. Uh, I'll keep the house guards. Yeah, let's just give them all those. Uh, 129, that's a bit much. We'll take some of those back. Beautiful, we'll do that. All right. Thank you, sir. He can hold up to 125. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Perfect. All right. We'll drop the rest of these useless troops off. Don't need any of your services, gentlemen. Beautiful. We're at just over our limit. Or just under our limit, rather. And now we've got these guys running around. And I can run over to King's Landing and tell them to rejoin me. And they'll take all the troops back. Boom. The Westerlands is no more. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen. A week or two, that's all it took. Oh, oh, what? The, Rob Stark declares war on the finished off Westerlands. Wow, Rob, what a courageous act of you. How about the veil, huh? How about we go back and get some revenge? I hate this guy. <laughs> okay, so we're back to King's Landing, and I just realized we never looked at the manage screen, did we? Um, okay, so... First of all, uh, we need to pick a governor for this thing. 
It's actually looking pretty good even without a governor. Um, yeah, pretty solid. I mean, everything's kind of going up for the most part. Um, who? Oh my god, Bam. <laughs> bam Bam. Woon Woon would actually be a great governor. What the fuck? That, I don't know how much sense that makes. Uh, okay. Wow, man, it goes up 18 militia a day? Holy. No wonder they had a garrison of, like, over 2,000. That's insane. Um, okay, uh, Brienne would be good. Brienne would be very solid. Felix is actually pretty good. Cregan would be pretty good. What would he do? Okay, he gives us a bunch of security. Uh, I don't know what else he really changed. I would love to... You, no, no, no. I, I, we can't give Benjen. He's too good. He's our scout. What about Felix? How do you do? Mm. Felix actually gives them more loyalty. I think that's actually way more important than... Security stable right now and actually going up. Loyalty with him actually goes up a lot. And that prevents it from flipping. I think that's way more important. Um, good construction. Good prosperity going up every day. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Okay. So, what are we working on right now? Uh, they have us working on the marketplace right now. That's almost done. Alright, that will give us a bonus to taxes when that's finished. That's good. Uh, this gives us a bonus to food production. I don't know how hugely necessary that is. Wow, my god, it already has maxed out militia grounds, granary, forum, fairgrounds, garrison barracks, fortifications, workshops, and siege workshop. We're actually, I don't think I've ever maxed out a town, but... This might be the first. <laughs> like, that's insane. Um, maybe. Alright, I think we just keep this. Let's go ahead and drop off uh, a whole bunch of money. So that'll speed things up. Yeah, five days now to finish the marketplace. Um, we'll put like 30k in there. Ah, uh, 25k. 25k, that'll last us 50 days. That should be... I don't think we'll spend any more than that up north. We should be back in time. Um, yeah. Wow. This is beautiful. Can you add this to Q? Yeah, add that to Q. We're up, we'll upgrade all these things. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, so, now that we are here, we are going to drop off a bunch of our remaining troops. Because we want to carry a relatively light load with us when, when we're going up north, right? That is the plan. Now, northern warlords, we would like to cha cho or, uh, change those into to the mounted warlords mm, man i think we're gonna end up dropping a lot of these guys off yeah give me a sec okay here's what we're doing we're dropping off pretty much all the rest of our boys except for we're keeping the northern mounted warlords and then the northern warlords that we're going to turn into these guys and so that allows us we still have a decent amount of speed um, we are taking a pretty big speed penalty from herd because we essentially have way more horses than we have men. They're literally just like trying to shepherd all of our animals. Um, but that's fine. As we recruit more guys, our speed will actually go up. Which seems a little unintuitive. But that's fine. And then if we look over here. Yeah. We still have all of our elite units in here. And so this gives us enough room. We can recruit 100 more units. So yeah. Let's say we recruit like 30 giants and 70 of the Night's Watch Protector of the Realms, that would be sick. Oh, that'd be sick. All right, I think that's the plan. Let's start heading north. Um, before we go, who is that? Oh, damn it, it's the Knight. <laughs> I thought for a sec, I thought maybe we'd get another Night King out of it, but that is not the case. Oh, actually, a bunch of these Northern Warlords are ready to level up already. That's fucking beautiful. Um... No, the Night King's reset again. Why'd they do that? No. I was so careful. I made sure not to move them out. No. Oh, that's so disappointing every time that happens. All right. Well, I guess we're not going to get a third Night King this episode. <laughs> that's so disappointing. All right. Uh, we can just go ahead and upgrade all these guys now, though. That should actually help our speed out quite a bit. Yeah. Boom. We'll do that. Sick. All right, got a bunch of leadership. Cool, cool, all that stuff. All right, well, we're going to let our boys continue to run around. Originally, I was thinking I was going to have them all come to us and drop their troops off, but it's low-tier troops. I'd rather them run around, get into fights, and level them up themselves, right? I think that makes sense. 
So I think now it's time for Ron to head north, beyond the wall, and recruit some troops. And then in the meantime, while we're waiting for their villages to restock, uh, it'll be the perfect time for Ron to continue smithing up a whole bunch of hammers, enough to uh, bankrupt half of Westeros. Oh, uh, holy shit, guys. All right, so I stopped in Winterfell on the way up to do a little bit of smithing. And that's when I noticed this. Northern Knight Armor. It costs 200,000. But look at the stats on this thing. This was already the crazy tier armor that we got. All right. 50, 12, and 14. This was God tier. Then I, I don't even know what to call this. 50, 25, and 20. And it weighs less? How does it weigh less? Oh my god. This is... <laughs> that is the most ridiculous set of armor I've ever seen. That is what? Plus 13? Plus 6? So a total of plus 19 over our already insane armor? Alright, we're going to have to craft a whole lot of uh, hammers to pay for this. About 40 of them. But it's worth it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at the stats on this now. Oh, that's juicy. That is beautiful. Let me tell you what, I'm curious. Let me go back, go back, go back. So we go from... What are we talking here? It's arm and leg armor that is given us. So, so from 63 and 46 to 69 and 59. <laughs> that's insane. Wow, we look stacked. So this is what the Northern Warlords uh, wear, right? Gotta be. Oh my god. I mean, look, the other stuff, the, the Casterly Rock Army, it looked really cool. It looked really cool. But this is... We look like a medieval tank. Alright, who are we going to give the new armor to? Or our old armor? Uh, I think we'll keep Sandor with what he's got. Maybe... Hmm. Boy, this is tough. Benjen? Mr. Hodor? Could give it to Mr. Hodor. Be a big upgrade for him. He's got good stats, right? Yeah, no reason why not to give him to Mr. Hodor. Sure, let's do that. Let's go over here. The Casterly Rock Armor. Make sure we never sell this thing off. This is too too valuable. Yeah, there you go. Boom. My King's Guard. Thank you, sir. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that's all. I'm glad I looked. I you know, most of the time I don't even don't even bother looking at this stuff. That was so good. Ah, no! Nina was just captured. Also, Jesus Christ, 529 whites. That's a lot. Um, hmm. That's a little unfortunate. Who did Nina lose to? He said the unsmiling dude. Who I think he was one of these guys. That's, <laughs> that's a little embarrassing, Nina. I expect you to pick it up. Uh, anyhow, uh, I recruited a, a whole bunch of the Night's Watch Rangers. Took a little while because I was competing with all of their vassals who are constantly getting wiped out by the free folk, and then having to frantically try to restore entire armies from just a couple villages. So that was a little annoying, but we ended up getting, how many did we end up getting here? Uh, like 60-ish? Yeah, about 60 of them. So that's not too bad. And that gives us enough room now to recruit a whole bunch of giants. And then now we just have to level them up. We'll be pretty good. It will be pretty good. Oh, and Nina was freed already. Okay, I guess we'll tell her to come back to us then. <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Seven giants. Just like that. That is fucking beautiful. <laughs> oh, this is actually going to cost us a lot of money, but I mean, it's more than worth it, right? More than worth it. Um, I suppose we can take out these hideouts and see if we can get even more relationship with them. Is that worth it? Is that worth it? Uh, maybe. Ooh, 172 whites. That still might be a bit much for our archers to handle, but that's ah, the smallest group I've seen so far, so I think we're just going to try to take them out. Also, before we get started, Ron has a new perk. Stewardship 176. Uh, I don't know if we're quite going to be able to get up to the next one. I think it's a little unlikely. Hmm. Well, that's interesting, this one. Prisoners in your party can provide carrying capacity, so we just kind of treat them like slaves. Oh my god, it's a whip. Oh, uh, and the perk's called, the perk is called forced labor. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay, what do we have this? Uh, 
What do we have here? Gourmet, double the morale bonus for having diverse food in your party. That's kind of nice. Uh, that's governor perk. Negative 10% troop upgrade costs. Negative 10% food consumption during sieges in your party. I think I kind of like the morale boost. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright, whites, let's do this thing. Alright, here we go. We're gonna hope for the best. We got our archers facing this way, and they actually do have a little bit of a, uh, a hill there. And then we're gonna have Ron try to kind of kite them around, and uh, hopefully our guys kill them before they run out of ammo. They are such newbie archers that they may legitimately run out of arrow before all these whites are dead. In which case, things might get a little dicey for us. Also, I'm gonna be trying to level up our one-handed skill if possible. Ooh, okay, this guy's actually not too bad, huh? 51. All right, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I'm probably just better off running these guys in circles. Is this out of your guys' range? I mean, it's not like you have to shoot individual ones. It's a giant, giant horde of them. All right, come on, buddies. Let's, let's pick this up. Oh my god, Miranda's gaining a ton of skill points. What is going on? Holy shit. Nice. Starting to pick up now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Maybe, do I have to run them a little bit closer? You know, normally I don't show too much of this because these battles take a while, but I mean, honestly, at this pace, <laughs> that's, this isn't too bad at all. Actually, you know what? Technically, now that I'm thinking about it, Ron... Oh, wait, 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 no, follow me, follow me, follow me, don't get, uh, don't get too rowdy here, boys. Face this direction, alright, they're doing good, they're doing good. Okay, not bad. Nice. Uh-huh, oh, that one might hurt, nope, they missed. Okay, I'm not doing the best job of keeping these guys in line. But honestly, they're almost shattered anyways. I think that they're pretty good. Nice. That wasn't bad at all. Oh wait, and we also have, I just realized, we have the good perks where um, we can donate the equipment, like the loot from the battles that we get, and then that'll level up our troops even faster. Oh man. Dude, we're gonna have like an entire army of maxed out archers in no time. Let's get a little more XP here. 192 one-handed. I don't, I think we need to get to 200 for the next perk. But yeah, a couple of the one-handed perks, even though we don't normally use that, um, we don't normally use one-handed weapons, the perks are disgustingly good. I'll show you what I'm talking about after the battle. Um, what do we get here? Oh my god, actually quite a, quite a decent amount there. 37 level ups, that's all of them, and all of the Night's Watch Rangers leveled up as well. Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. Uh, we got seven one-handed out of that. What did Gray get? Gray got nine athletics and four archery. Um, uh, Ron just got nine points in leadership. Did we put a did, did we put like a skill or a focus point into leadership at some point? Why are we gaining so much leadership all of a sudden? I mean, we can level these guys up. It's gonna be juicy. All right, uh, we'll get the two northern mounted warlords. Okay, and then twenty one elite rangers and another thirty eight knights watch rangers. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> oh, oh my god. And so now we can just donate the rest of this, right? I mean, we're gonna tell you what, we'll take some of the expensive stuff, I think. I, honestly, no, we're fine on money. Let's just donate this. That's another 10,000 experience for our troops. How much, how many level ups does that get us? I'm legitimately curious now. Okay, so now if we go here. Okay, that gave us another nine level ups. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, give me some more Master Rangers, Elite. Nice, beautiful. Oh my god, and so this is one tier away from the max tier already? <laughs> it's so easy to train up armies now. Okay, who leveled up? So we got leadership, we got a new perk. Okay. Plus 50% recruitment rate of, oh, oh, tier 4 plus prisoners. Oh, this is for the Night King. Oh, this would be so big for the Night King. Literally 50% faster Night King recruitment. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, and a medicine perk. Uh, health advice, chance to recover, chance of recovery from death due to old age for every clan member. Legitimately, that could be big later on. <laughs> uh, or, oh, this one's really good. Perfect health, plus 5% recovery rate for each type of food in the party inventory. 
Okay, so our healing rate right now is 20.63. We pick this up. What does that go to? It didn't change. I'm confused. We have food. We have different types of food in my, my inventory. What's going on? Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> oh, no. We just have fish and grain. We ate all the rest of it. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no, no, wait. I saw some cheese and bread in there. Maybe. Yeah, cheese, butter, grain, fish. All right, we could be doing a little bit better. We could be doing a little bit better. I'll give them that much. All right, let me go find some more whites. That was super easy. Uh, do I even want to do this? No, I think literally just taking on the armies of whites is, is so much faster. We don't even need that much. Oh, hello, 98. Perfect. Oh, this group has a Night King. Perfect. All right, I've spotted their pesky little Night King. Let's see if we can't give him a little love tap. Oh, Gray's already hitting shots. Oh, there we go. Yep. Headshot of the Night King. Still only did 22 damage. He is still, you know, the Night King and all that. All right. Get him just a little bit closer. I mean, they should already be so much more effective than the last battle. Because they've all upgraded at least one tier, if not two. Yeah, I mean, this is just going to be a walk in the park. And they're already fleeing. That took, like, no time at all. Oh, the Night King is fleeing. Oh, you little coward. Get back here. He's actually going to be kind of hard to kill just from the armor alone. Uh, let me see. There we go. Knocked him unconscious. That's another Night King that we've taken prisoner. And we'll get some more one-handed real quick. And what a beautiful battle. Gray actually leveled up. Not just all of her stats, because she's been going crazy with that. But actually leveled up. And Ron just leveled up. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Another five one-handed. We'll get it in the next battle. Yeah, look at that. She got another ten athletics. Another five archery. And once again, not quite everyone leveled up, but pretty damn close. Pretty damn close. That is beautiful. All right, another Night King. Thank you. So these guys are going to be recruiting so fast now. Wow, yeah, look. They've, it's almost up to like halfway after we lost all of our progress. And actually, I lied. All these guys did level up, and all these guys did level up. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Uh, we're actually going to keep you as is because that's the last tier. So we'll do this. We'll do this. Boom. 4K. Don't mind if I do. And then, like I said, we'll just get some of the more expensive stuff. And then we'll donate that. Another 5K. <laughs> it's just too easy. Okay. Maybe I'm a little crazy for this one, but I want to try... The 529 man army. I maxed out the uh, battle size because I think since Hello, traveler. Ooh, have they you brought your purse. All right, they See, have a night king as well. You? Um, I think since this isn't a siege, since it's just a land battle, I'm hoping my computer can actually handle all. What is this? 680, 600. No, 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 no. 70 troops on the map. We'll see. I mean, maybe my computer can. We'll see if our archers can. This is a lot. We might legitimately run out of arrows before killing them, which would be disastrous. All right, here we go. Good luck, us. It's not the biggest clearing here, but hopefully Ron can grab their attention. Yep, we've got all of them on the map. Oh my god, a 338 fearsome whites, 190 ferocious, and one Night King leading it off. There he is over there. Let's go ahead and send some love shots their way. Can we get a headshot? Okay, headshot the wrong guy. There we go, headshot the Night King. Uh, whopping 18 damage. Love that for us. Let me see if I can I just take him out super early? Loki putting some damage down on him. Okay, one more headshot maybe? Two more? Come on. Yeah, I got him and knocked him out. All right, sweet. We got another Night King held captive. Whenever uh, this battle finishes, if we can win. I mean, that is saying something. How many archers do we have? 60. Okay. 60 archers against this horde. Wait, I kind of need them to be following us. Yeah. I really need them. Oh my god, that's a lot of- Oh my god, there's so many! Oh, there's so many. Okay, Gray's already getting kills. I love that. Uh, Gray, I love that. Um, tell you what, let me get him a little bit closer to kind of towards the center of this clearing. That might- There we go. Alright, that might help them land some more shots. Okay. So slow it down. There we go. You gotta keep them just close enough that they don't leave. That they don't run for other people. Alright, archers. Now it's time. Start. Start doing your thing. God, we might actually run out of arrows. I think all of them have two, like, quiver slots. I think. I hope. 
This is a little scary, man. Oh my god. Alright, come on. Keep it coming. This way, this way, this way. Alright, they're starting to open it up. Update, we're doing... I'd say a pretty good job of keeping them in line. Only a few have kind of sp split off from the group. The boys have not run out of arrows yet. Knock on wood. Okay, just run a bunch of them over. There we go. Ron's gaining a bunch of medicine XP from saving the whites. Makes a lot of sense. Go. That's 199 one-handed. Okay, we've almost got the perk. I just realized I forgot to show you what perk I was talking about. Oh, that was dicey. Okay. Nearly took out the Lamborghini there. Some more guys are a little hurt. Alright, our knights over there, like the northern warlords should be fine from a couple of them running that way. Alright, we need to get more of them this way. Come on, guys. This way, this way, this way, this way. Don't run towards them. Run towards the archers. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice. Oh, this is beautiful. Yes, this is exactly the angle we want. That's what she said. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we're doing good. We're doing good. A lot of them are retreating. I think the rest of them are about to break, for the most part. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yikes, 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 yikes. Run, run! This just got dicey. Okay, now they're running. All right, perfect. Now Ron can kind of just run behind him, and then... Oh, we actually already got 202 one-handed. Perfect. Why am I so slow? Ron, you were faster than these fucking whites. Come on now. These are actual zombies. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, everyone. Sorry, well we just charge everyone in. Get a little more XP. Get some more kills. And that'll be that. All right. And there we go. I think that's the rest of them. Got a decent amount of kills there for us. And got our two-handed up to 205. Yeah, plus eight. Not too bad. And then Gray. How did she do? Oh, my God. Look at that. Another nine athletics. That's a perk. Another six bow. 240 kills between 33 elite rangers another 188 for the master rangers wow 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 nice didn't lose a single person how many got away only four look at this 89 renown 88 influence should be, get paid here as well okay that's another night king added uh 13 leadership very nice and then we will go ahead and level up all of these guys um, and yeah, we can level up and get some of them into the protectors. That's the rest of the northern warlords. Warlords are now mounted. Beautiful. All right. How's this looking? Ah, it's about the same. Makes sense. Okay. Um, do we even need a 44,000 experience? Uh, we're keeping this. We need to keep this to sell. All right. Honestly, the rest of our rangers will level up in just one more battle anyways. I just want to take the rest of the loot to sell myself. Oh, that's juicy. We're going to get to a, a million, no problem. Especially with all the hammers that we have. Alright. Another four giants for us here. Don't mind if I do. And then, let's look at this juicy perk. Okay. Fleet of foot and extra 4% movement speed. And 4% movement speed for all the infantry in our formation. Beautiful. Now, it's the next one that we want to get really badly. Unwavering defense. Gives Ron an extra 5 HP. Okay, that's nice. That'll put him over 200 officially. However, it gives plus 10 hit points to every single infantryman in our party. That is such a disgusting perk. Like, it's so good. And then the one after that's pretty good too. Plus 15 party limit? That's great. What is the other one? A plus 10% armor penetration with melee attacks. I mean, that's pretty solid too. Not that we need it. Ron one taps everyone he hits. Uh, okay, we have another focus point though. We might have to put in the leadership. Low key. It's been pretty good for us so far. I don't know what else we'd even really want with this. We kind of have everything else maxed out. Um, yeah, I think we'll do leadership. I don't know if these perks are any good. Ooh, plus five party size. Yeah, we'll take that. What about this one? Tier 3 plus troops in your party no longer retreat due to low morale. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's very nice. And plus 50% renown gain from battle. Oh, wow. All right, sick. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. And then I am sure that Gray has... Yep, there we go. Okay, what do you got here? Plus 1 control? Hell yeah, that'll give her even better bow skill. Fuck yeah. Do that. There you go. Awesome. All right. 
I'm gonna find one more battle, finish leveling up our archers, and then we're gonna, I mean, shoot, we got a lot more giants than we need to recruit. I thought it was gonna take longer to train up all these archers. Damn it, I killed this Night King. All right, here's the last group. It was actually uh, two groups of whites combined. Uh, almost 400 of them. So it shouldn't be too bad compared to the last one. <laughs> I can't believe we're saying that now that you know, oh, hey, you know, this will be a pretty quick battle. Only 400 whites. <laughs> God, we've, we've come so far since the beginning of this series. We, we really have. Alright, let's get them a little bit closer to my new Master Rangers and Protectors of the Realm. This way, gentlemen. Fine lads. Those are some terrifying axes, man. Alright, a little more this way. And perfect. Alright, boys. Have at them. Alright, well, things are going pretty smoothly. I think we're down to, what was it, like 100? 166. Doesn't even seem like that many. I mean, the numbers are rapidly depleting. I think Ray is about to get up to 200 bow skill. So that'll be another perk for her this battle. I mean, this is just... It's such an OP way to grind. I love it. And that will do it for the rest of the battle. Got a decent amount of one-handed there. Yep, another plus eight. Alright. Oh, Gray actually never got to 200. Damn, sucks to suck. All right, easy money for us again. Oh, they actually had a bunch of prisoners. Probably nothing good would be my... Oh, Water Dancer, that's a tier six. What is this unit? It's a Bravosi guy, huh? Is he good? 250 one-handed and some polearm. Bravosi Rapier. I mean, fuck it, it's a tier six unit. I feel like you don't turn that down. The Swordmasters, we'll pick them up. Windblown Cavalry, what is this? Oh, never even seen those guys before. Alright, alright. Oh, wait, 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 some more knights. Oh my god, some more rangers? Do I even need more rangers, man? I'll tell you what, we'll take the five elites. Ah, oh, that leaves us set room for 17 more. 17 more giants, huh? Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. 17 more giants, that'll work. That'll work just fine. Actually, make it 16. Because we're going to recruit this guy. Perfect. Cool, cool. Alright, now let's level up all these guys. Thank you. Beautiful. And then we get to keep all the loot once again. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, perfect. Alright. Oh, we kind of got everything we want. Oh no, we still need the giants. God damn it, we just got given another town. I don't want- <laughs> stop giving me these towns. I do not want them. How do I get rid of this? <sighs> do I just keep it? Maybe I just keep it. I'll just keep it for the time being. Because I can always just- actually, you know what? I'll, we'll keep it because then we can just give it away. To one of our uh, companions that we're going to make a lord. Alright, and at long last. Boom, finally. That actually puts us two over the limit. But that is fine. We will just fire... Um, I will fire the sword masters. I don't know how good they realistically are. We'll keep the water dancers. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And just like that, Ron has succeeded in recruiting another 65 Night's Watch Protectors of the Realm and 32 Giants. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. All right, let's head back south. Okay, so I'm kind of curious just how much loot we got from all that. Um, let's see. What is this worth? Okay, 200k uh, just in armor. Nice. That is decent. What about... Uh, there shouldn't be much from here. Oh, never mind. That makes it... Uh, what does that make this? 280 something thousand? And what if we include all of this? This will include all of our crafted weapons. Ah, 700 grand. Yeah, I feel like money-wise, we are in a pretty good uh, position. Very nice. All right, Um, I guess then I have to... Wait, hold up. Are you telling me this town has exactly 69,420? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I feel like I'm doing rocket science over here trying to sell the exact right amount of loot. But there you go, that's 69,000 from them. And we are going to bankrupt every city on our way south. I need to figure out where King Rob is. He did have an army. I don't know if it got disbanded or, or what. Um, but we're going to head down 
I, I think it's time to deliver the news to Ron in person. Or not Ron, to Rob. Wow, there's another set of the Northern Knight Armor here. I think we buy it to give it to someone. I don't know who, but someone we really like. Honestly, we might give it to Benjin. He's been very solid for us, but on the other hand, eh, Mr. Hodor has that. He doesn't need anything new. I want to give this to one of our just really good heroes. <laughs> Technically not an improvement for Woon Woon. Um, damn, who do we give this to? I mean, we could just give it to Nina. It's a huge improvement for her, and we know she has some god tier stats. Actually, well, she has some solid stats. I wouldn't say god tier might be a bit strong. Do we just give it to Brienne? Oh, it's actually not better body armor, but it's a lot better on, on the other stuff. Damn, who do we give this to? We need to give this to somebody. I'm buying it. I'm fucking buying it. We're giving it to somebody. I'm not sure who yet, okay? So that's a pretty... Oh my god, 200k there. All right, sell off everything else we have. Oh, that actually makes it from 200k down to 50k. That's not too shabby. All right, what if we uh, sell a lot of the rest of this? I don't think we need any of this. Hey, now they'll, now they'll pay us. Beautiful. Okay. We got some saddles too. Yeah, we'll give them all these. All right, we're basically, we're basically there. Now let me just sell off some of the random shit over here. We're looking pretty good. All right, so I have had a little trick up my sleeve that I haven't done yet because we hadn't actually started selling any of the stuff we'd crafted personally yet. Um, but we are pretty much out of everything else. And then, yeah, we got like a little bit of this. Dreadfort actually has 114 grand, which is why I'm willing to uh, do this. Boom, 100, or 11 grand right there, not too bad, but they still, have, they still have 100K left. So if we come over here, and if we were to sell off all of our crafted items, that would be about 445,000. All right, that'd be decent. I wouldn't hate that. However, if we respect ourselves by going to the arena, I think we'll be able to get some better perks. All right, so we're gonna talk to the tournament master here, and we'd like to relearn our habits. So for us, we're gonna go to endurance. We're gonna focus on smithing. It's gonna cost us 12 grand to respect it, respect this, but believe me, it is more than worth it. Also, there's another one I was gonna change. In social, we are gonna relearn charm. That's 9k. Thank you very much. Let me show you why we just did that. So now, if we come over here, first off, for smithing, oh, give me a sec, I gotta go through all this again. The whole point of this is we will now be an artisanal smith. And so all of a sudden we get negative 50% trade penalty when selling our smithed weapons. That's gonna make a big difference. And then the other one is Ron was a self-promoter, but now that he's married and he has his wife with him, he is going to become virile, virile, Vi viral. I actually, I never know how to pronounce this. Virile, I think. Um, he is 30% more likely to have children. I'm a little surprised he hasn't had one already. I'm a little surprised. Also, before I forget, we did get a new leadership perk, and it is the one that gives us another five party size limit. Beautiful. Thank you very much. All right, let me go through all this again. And beautiful. Okay, now that we have this perk, instead of selling for five thousand, they're selling for seventy-seven hundred. So instead of the what was it, four hundred forty k that we would get for selling it, uh, try almost seven hundred thousand now. Holy, is this six sixty-nine? Is that six hundred ninety thousand? <laughs> yeah, that makes a big difference. Okay. So now all of a sudden, we will go ahead and, I mean, how many do they got? How many can they afford? Not all of them, that's for sure. Uh-huh, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Another 100K like that. We're up to 700,000. And we got a few more towns to clear out on our way down. Um, I actually should probably look up where Rob is even at. All right, Winterfell had 73K. Not anymore. That puts us up over the three quarters of a million mark. And uh, I just checked. Rob is around here in the Iron Islands where we conveniently have two of our heroes. And we now own one, two, three of the thieves here. 
honestly, that might not be the worst spot for us to start our rebellion. So we're going to pop over to Barrowton first, and then we'll hit, what, Black Tide, Ten Towers. And then that'll hopefully be enough to get us to the one million mark. Oh, we have a new Night King. All right, I'm not going to risk him. Like, I'm not going to risk losing him. Boom, we finally have three Night Kings. Let's go. Uh, we will fire, I guess, one of these Knights, or these Water Dancers. I don't know how good they are. Ah, you know, you know, we'll keep the Water Dancers. I appreciate them joining us. All right. We're almost to Barrowton, and almost to the Iron Islands. <laughs> Wait, Joffrey Baratheon is part of the Night's Watch? <laughs> Ron sent Joffrey to the wall after taking King's Landing. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. I love that, just for lore's sake. He probably just dropped him off when he went up north to do that training. He said, hey, take care of this little bastard. Make sure he works the worst shifts. Don't let him go. <laughs> All right, the time has come. We sold off another package of hammers, and now Ron is up to over a million dinars. That is quite the war chest. And he stands across from Rob Stark right over there. Unfortunately, I couldn't get him alone. We're going to have to fight him and Danella Hornwood. Not great, but it is what it is. Um, however, before we start this rebellion, Ron has quite a bit of influence that it would be nice to spend instead of just wasting. So let's see if we can't perhaps cause a little bit of havoc. So, they are currently at war with essentially just the Reach. The Westerlands and the Iron Islands are dissolved. Um, let's see if we can't step that up a little bit. So let's see, the Vale, no one supports that. Are there any... Ooh, hold up. Oh, damn it. I thought we could maybe pr uh, propose a war against the uh, the Night's Watch. That would actually be really good because it would distract their armies and send them all north so they wouldn't be down south by us. But you're actually not allowed to. The Night's Watch honor all kings and obey none. Interesting. So does that mean when we're a king, we wouldn't even be able to declare war on them? Potentially. Okay. So the backup plan would be either the Riverlands or Dragonstone. Dragonstone... King Stannis, quite the powerful army. Honestly, the only people that are even somewhat comparable to the North. Yeah, wow. Okay, so we can propose this six times. Let's see what we can make happen. All right, it's not going to go through. That's fine. But a bunch of their lords are going to waste. Look at all this influence that their lords are wasting on this. Bruce Bolton is sending 150 influence. That's crazy. All right, sweet. We're not even going to spend any on this time? No need to. No need to at all. All right. And then, actually, if we come over here, can we see how much influence everyone has? Some of these guys barely have any at all. Okay. Hmm. We might not be able to get them to declare war on anybody, but the good news is we are draining their influ influence right before the start of this war, and so they won't be able to create armies. So we do this again. All right, a bunch of them are unhappy, so be it. We bet max on this. It doesn't matter because we get refunded if uh, our uh, proposal doesn't go through, which it won't. But yeah, look at all the influence that they're wasting. Uh, that would actually piss him off. I don't want to piss him off. Never mind, we're not going to do that. We'll just keep abstaining. Okay, there we go. So I just did that six times. We have no influence left. But now all of a sudden, look at how much less influence all these clans have. Beautiful. That means these guys are not going to be able to bring forth armies to stop us. It's exactly what we wanted. All right, so we have Viking Murderer, Yorin over there. Where are some of our other guys? Actually, I might want to try to recall. Where is our other guy at? Oh, these guys are in an army. Oh, that could be bad. That could be bad. Well, hopefully they're just able to escape. I think they're in Megder's uh, army here. All right. I think it's time, guys. Go to kingdom. Leave kingdom. And keep all holdings. Own settlements remained under your control, but nobles will dislike this dishonorable act, and the kingdom will declare war on you. So be it. Keep all holdings. Ooh, that probably just pissed off a lot of people. 
I understand that. Oh yeah, a lot of people are mad with us. Negative 40 from everybody. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, well that's why we got it up so high in the first place. So that these guys will still be willing to join us. We hope. Oh man. Okay. We are officially at war with the North. Oh, it's still going, man. Have we created our own kingdom yet? Does this even count as creating our own kingdom? I don't think it does. We're just our own thief. Do we, we maybe we don't even have the reputation in order to do that. No, no, we have the reputation to become a, a king, I think. Hmm, this could be dicey. This could be very dicey. All right, Rob, it's time. Let's fight. My friend? Oh, that's bold of you to say after what we just did. Very bold of you to say. You're a rebel and a traitor, Ron, but somehow I still can't bring myself to hate you. Alright. Well, King Rob, I'd like to let you know why I did this in the first place. I've become increasingly aware over the past several weeks that you are not worthy of your title. It began with our war against the Vale. When just when I was on the precipice of turning the war in our favor, just as I had stomped their legions of knights and freed half our faction, just when we had the opportunity to instead press forward into their lands to take revenge against these foes that had backstabbed us and claim their fiefs, their castles, and their towns for our own, what did you do, Rob? Were you there on the front lines with me? No. No, instead, you bent the knee. You groveled at their feet and offered them tribute. Tribute in return for peace. I'm told your father, Ned, was a great man. A courageous man. He would be so fucking disappointed to see you now. I'm convinced that on that day, that that is when you began seeing me, not as an ally, but as a rival. That your jealousy got hold, that you became aware that perhaps I would be a better king than you are. So when I led in a force of over a thousand to siege the capital of the Lannisters, I lost hundreds of my men. I spent my influence to raise that force. What did you do, Rob? Did you reward me rightfully with the thief that I had seized? No. You would not give it to me. And almost instantly, you realized your mistake. You see, you had just spited the mightiest force that Westeros has ever seen. You see, Rob, I am Ron fucking Baringsworth. It is I and I alone that dares to travel beyond the wall, that have slain hundreds, thousands of whites and white walkers alike, that bent the Night King to my will, that leads an army of giants at my back, that took that same army and cracked through the walls of King's Landing and seized the capital of the realm. Where were you? You were not on the front lines. You did not bear witness to the stuff of legends that happened that day. Nearly a thousand men fell to my hand alone in that single battle. So who are you, Rob? Are you worthy? Worthier than me? Because after sitting upon the Iron Throne, I have come to the opposite conclusion. That throne belongs only to the ruler of all the Seven Kingdoms. And I think I'd like that for myself. You see, Rob, this is the day that your reign ends. That you will fade back into obscurity. Because let's face it, after all, without me, you never would have paid it, made it past the twins in the first place. Prepare yourself. We fight. Alright. It's time. Let's do this. 
Oh, wait, we can challenge him to a duel. Yes, I like that. Let us first challenge him to a duel. And then we're still going to stomp out his army. I expect you to surrender should you lose. Oh, no, no. He won't, of course. The coward isn't going to take us up on that. Oh, baby. We're out number two to one. But honestly, they don't stand a goddamn chance. Let's do this. And here we go. This is, I'll be honest, this is quite the interesting army composition that we have. We have 64 Soldier, Super on. Elite Forward. Night's Watch Rangers. Move. We have Move. an actual entire shield wall of giants. Look how many giants we have. This is insanity. Like, oh, come on, I'm trying to orient it the right way. Can you imagine? You're the poor peasant that has to go up against this. Like, absolutely, fuck that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, they're rolling deep. That is beautiful. And then we've got actually quite a decent amount of uh, northern mounted warlords, too. That's beautiful. Okay. Actually, tell you what. Let's have these guys over here. We'll have the infantry right here. Um, my guess would be these guys are going to... Getting scam called. Um, my guess would be these guys are going to retreat, right? Because... We were the ones that engaged them, so they're probably going to run back to one of these hills, and we're going to have to chase them down. That'd be my guess. Alright. Let's send it. Let's see what they got. Alright, 34 cavalry, 200 infantry. It looks like, a, yep, 108 archers. That's not too bad. What are they doing? Oh, wait, they're actually moving this way. Hold up. Soldiers! Okay. For troops! Move! Cavalry! Move! A little closer here. If they're gonna post up on on this hill right in front of us, I'll just let my archers take shots, man. That is fine by me. Okay, we do. All right, we do have a little cavalry charge in here. We'll have Ron distract them, so that's not going against our brand new archers. Thank you. Giants cleaned up the ones that still went for them. Oh, I think that was Ron or Rob right behind me. Shit. All right, we need to be careful. Lots of lances. Ro Ron could easily get one tapped by a lance if we're not careful. Another one down. Is this Rob right here? That's Rob, isn't it? Get the fuck out of here, Rob Stark. Get sat down at the beginning of the battle. Ooh, what the fuck? They're charging their archers right in. That cannot be wise. <laughs> Ron's dropping 400, 500 damage you hit against these archers. And all of a sudden, they're running. Oh, really? Come on, Lamborghini. You're not an all-terrain. Couldn't go up that little hill. <laughs> Knocked that guy off his feet, and then chopped him in half with the axe midway. Oh, are they just running? Are they done? You had enough already? Wiped out your proposed king? To be fair, these are all northern guys. They've heard of what Ron's been up to so far in these wars. How about, didn't even realize that was the infantry line right there. Okay, okay. That's a good start to it. Uh, alright, let's bring the archers up. Soldiers, Infantry move, over there. Cavalry, cavalry come sit move. over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't do anything to me. I'm Ron Baringsworth. Damn, did we not even get hit? Doesn't even look like Ron got hit during all that. I also really like the fact that we don't have a helmet anymore. I don't know. I just kind of appreciate it. Ow! Okay, never mind. I don't like it anymore. That hurt. <laughs> that hurt. Okay. Archer's coming in. They do have the high ground. But realistically, I think our numbers and our archers are just better than theirs. Oh, hello. I see that guy till like the last moment. Can you guys finish him off, please? Maybe? Don't worry, I got it. I got him. Okay, yep, our Night's Watch protectors are starting to land. Like that. Send it, boys. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this is an actual archer's duel. I mean, while our guys are better than them, they do have the high ground and they have numbers. There were like a hundred of them. Okay, just fuck that particular Stark Levy in particular. Nice. Yeah, I am trying to shoot their archers, not the random, you know, footmen in front. There we go, Master Longbowman dead. Uh huh. That was a headshot, didn't kill him. Alright, they're backing up, they're backing up. Nice, nice, nice. Oh my god, I actually saw that one coming in <laughs> right before it hit. 63 damage, that hurt. Alright. Let the boys shoot them. Eventually, they're going to have to charge us, man. We're doing too much damage. Yeah, look, they're coming. Oh, boy. I think it's time. Send in the infantry. The giants are moving in. Cavalry move in. 
and then we'll dismount and go to work with our new axe. There you go. Terrify him. Good. All right. Cleave them there. Now we get off. Ooh, actually, we even get free space. Actually, the cavalry kind of getting in our way a little bit. Kind of feels bad killing all the men that we fought beside for all this time, but they were Rob's men. They weren't going to leave them. Oh my god, our giants are just cleaving their way through this front line. That is disgusting. The Night King's on top. <laughs> Look at that, our three Night Kings side to side. Ooh, baby. Oh, they're running for the hills. No! Yes! Send them back. And it wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. Headshots, they're dead. Anyone else? We only lost a single soldier taking out King Rob and his entire army. And another vassal, right? Yeah, Donella was there. Holy. Look, all of our heroes were getting kills. Nice. Locke got eight kills. Shaggy, brother of Scooby, got six. The Giants got 120. Holy. And then the Warlords and the Protectors of the Realm both got 65, 66. Perfect. That is beautiful. What a battle. <laughs> oh my god, we clobbered them. Absolutely clobbered them. And Ron personally took out Rob right away. I love it. Okay. Hello, hello. Danella, good to see you. Um, you are not the head of Hornwood. So I'm going to let you go because I want you to like us. Yes. So, here's going to be the deal. We need to capture the heads of household of all the different factions, all the different houses of the north, in order to try to convince them. Any other lord that we capture, we set free. Because we need to get the relation back. A lot of them, we had gotten up to 90 to 100 relationship, but then as soon as we rebelled, we lost like 40 with them. So, we're back up to 71. That's pretty good. Honestly, if we were to capture... What is, what's his name? Harris Hornwood, I think is the leader. Probably would go pretty well. Uh, you, on the other hand, I don't care about your relationship with me. So you is are at my you? mercy. Am I free? Uh, yeah, get the fuck out of here. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't go. <laughs> I don't is know who you true? are, but you're free to Am go. Am I free? Uh, sure. I mean, these, these are all guys that we used to capture, but, um, I guess we'll let them, let them go. Uh, we will recruit the last Knight of the Veil, and level you up to replace the one that we lost. Beautiful. And we're just as good as we left off. Um, what do we take here? Maybe we take, um, ah, do we even want to take any of these? Ah, yeah, I guess we'll take a couple of units. Might as well. We need as many as we can get. I think the prisoners are just going to slow us down for the most part. Uh, we will take the loot, though. That's actually pretty decent. There's some good stuff in there. Alright. Yoink it. Uh, give me the coursers and all this. I don't really need the rest. Beautiful. Alright. Alright, alright. Good work. Okay. So, Walton, I don't think this is the leader of Hornwood either. Let me actually look it up. Yeah, no, it's his his uh, father, Hallis. All right, so here we go. There's a whole lot of red on the map now. Now, I hope these guys are able to escape. They might not. They legitimately might not be able to. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. We are picking a fight with the most powerful faction in the game. Okay. Um, you know what we could do real quick? Saltcliff has barely any defenders. Let's run this way and quick take this. Should take us barely any time at all. Yeah, Daedric God just got taken out, and I assume that means... No, Tyrion is actually running. He might make it. He might make it somehow. Viking Murderer. I'd kind of like it if you came to us. But tell you what, we're going to quick take this castle. We don't even need to build... I mean, we'll build like a ramp. I think that's all we need. And then that should be good. I'm waiting for... Oh, stop. Tell you what, forget that, fuck that, forget that, Hallis Hornwood, yes, that is the leader, that is the man we are after, get over here, come back here, if we can get him, 
Oh, he's... Oh, he's slowed down. If we capture him... Well, if it comes down to you and me, let's make it a fight that the bards will sing about, Oh, eh? actually, that's a fucking cool line. I don't think I've ever heard that one before. <laughs> yeah, I, I fuck with that. All right, Hallis. Let's do it. Me versus you. Surrender or die. Uh, could just challenge him to a duel. Okay, no, he wants to fight. He wants to fight. That's fine. We take him out, and now we have the lore that we need. We can try to convince him to join us. It might be tough. It might be a tough sell. Honestly, he might not even, even be willing to give us the chance because he owns so much. But if we can convince him to leave, holy shit, we will have just gained the entire Iron Islands just like that. All right, so let's see. What do we got here? What do we got? Um, I mean, there's only 50 of them, right? I think we just charged the fuck in. Like, I'm not... I'm not that worried, man. Just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at... No. I don't know if you guys saw his army sit at the bottom of this hill, but... Oh, no. These poor dudes are about to get fucking wrecked. All right, I'm not trying to get Lance, though. That'd be a little unfortunate. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like this axe doesn't do as many... Uh... Oh, look at the body sliding down. This, I feel like this axe doesn't do as much cleaving. It's like I'm used to. I don't know if the head is smaller. Like there's not a big enough blade for it to uh, cleave as much. I'm not sure what's up with that. We need to break out the King Robert hammer. Use that some more. Okay, well, let me get involved. Nice up close and personal. Thank you. Make sure these guys know what is up. Stop using your shields. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Thank you. Thank you. Dead. Northern Warlord, not for long. Down he goes. Alright, good work. Get the infantry are starting to get close, maybe. Thank you. God damn. It's hard to tell who's even alive. The cavalry just aren't super effective on the on the mountainside, and so they're kind of just getting in everyone's way. Us and theirs. Beautiful. What is this? Night of the Veil. God, look at shiny. Beautiful and flawless victory. Yep. That's what we like to see. Okay. God, please tell me we can recruit Hallis, man. Alright, Lord Hallis Hornwood. <sighs> okay. You're my prisoner. I hope you're not too salty about that. I hope we're still chill. Alright. Take the loot real quick. Okay. Okay, okay. So... Um, what do we have here? Actually, you know, I need to sit through. We just had so many heroes level up. Let me actually update all these. Man, Gray the Sniper has leveled up twice. She is actually, <laughs> she's so good, man. She's so good. Um, I think we'll give her some one-handed, right? Yeah, she uses a one-handed. Okay, so I actually just realized that we are not going to be able to recruit Lord Hallis because we, in fact, are not a kingdom right now. Um... I think in order to become a kingdom, we're going to need to take another castle, and then maybe that'll trigger it. But, uh, yeah, that's not the best. Um, we need to do that ASAP. I, honestly, I kind of wish I had just kept on besieging Saltcliff and then went after Lord Hallis afterwards, because now this has just given uh, all the northern vassals way more time to come rush us. Um... We can't even tell Yorn to join our army. I mean, we can tell him to... Let me see. I can tell him to come back to us, maybe? We could do that. Uh, he's leading a party right now. I can tell him to stop that. Maybe. I don't remember how to do that. Change party leader? No. Disband party? I don't want him to do that either. Alright, well, he's probably just going to get taken out. Tyrion's still running around with 150. It looks like he made it free. He's probably running for his life from all the northern vassals around here. That's a lot of red. A lot of red. Okay, yeah, I think we just need to go in. That's going to piss off the Hornwoods, but it is what it is. Um, we need to go... I think we'll do a double arrow loadout, maybe. Yeah, I think that'll be a move. So we'll do this. And then... Do our typical siege loadout. 
and just kind of hope that uh, Felix uh, the Hammer won a tournament. Nice. Uh, let's just hope not too many of these guys end up uh, stacking up and attacking us before we can get this done. Honestly, there's only 138 in here. We can probably get it down without any siege equipment. I'm just a little worried. Uh, maybe I'm all right. There's just two lords right now. Not too scared of them. Some more over here. Yep, there's Ash of Snow. Okay, some more Karstarks showing up. Or no, is that not a Karstark? Maybe that isn't a Karstark. Let's see, now it's when it gets a little dicey. We've got 250 here, another 100 coming that way. Oh boy, they might attack us soon. Oh, not if they all don't mount up. Um, I think time is of the es essence. I think we just go in now. Yeah, they're not that great. I don't think we need a, uh, a ram. All right, here we go. Kind of coming right at, uh, at dusk, I think. I like it, I like it. All right, the boy's heading in. Um, hmm. Might be, is it worth it to send the boys full on in? Or do we have them wait for a little bit and let our archers do some work and soften them up? That might be, ah, they, no, wait, they have a catapult. I think whenever they have a catapult, it's never worth it to let them just uh, sit there and take you out. Although it should just be knocking our guys unconscious, so that shouldn't be that big of a deal. Alright, a bunch of guys over here. Headshot, didn't kill him. Come on. Oh, that might make it through. <laughs> that was on, on target. Just wasn't quite enough. They actually don't have that many archers from what I'm seeing. Kind of surprised. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Our own archers firing back now. Dead. Dead. Alright, the boys are heading in. I think we need to join them. Um, yeah, I feel like if we can just hit the, uh, the outside, like stick to the outside and, and make it in, I think we'll be alright. Out of my way, Northern Warlord. Let me in. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Push, 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 push. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Knight of the Veil, I need you. You need to get up as well, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get out. Let me get out. Okay, we're fine. We're good now. Okay. Dead, dead, dead. Help the giants out. Yeah, we're fine now. We're fine now. Get them out of here. Come on. Hit their little feet. Maybe I, actually, maybe I should have brought the two-handed uh, axe. Running. Is the other side done too? I think the other side's done too. Alright, good. Yeah, they're trying to get to the keep. Honestly, a lot of them will succeed. The rest of you won't. Nice. Dead. Dead. Alright, the archers are actually still attempting to fight. Interesting. Beautiful. Alright, how many did we lose? We lost four there? That's not too bad. I'm born Spearman. Okay, yeah, no, that's not too bad at all. 47 renown. We'll take that. Oh, actually, a decent amount of troops, too. Um, I mean, we're going to take all of them, right? Because we're just going to put them in the garrison. The extras are just going to go in the garrison. It's that, that simple. I'll take the mounted uh, warlords and the regular ones to try to recruit them. Beautiful. Uh huh. I'm fine with that. All right. Uh, we will leave this loot to level them up. Salt Cliff is ours. Thank you. Now, does this mean we start our kingdom? How does this work? I do not know. <laughs> um, I'm hoping this starts our kingdom, man. Uh, show mercy? Yeah, I don't want to piss off Halus too much. Show mercy. Okay. Bruh. How Lord's Port has been besieged by Megder. How do I start my kingdom? Okay, I think I might have figured it out. I think what I have to do is put a governor in place here. So we'll just do lock for the time being. Yep, that's fine. Then we go to the Lord's Hall. And then we have to talk to Lock as our governor. And he will let us start the kingdom. Alright, so let's see. I'm at Please. Your service. Uh, okay, yes, there we go. It is time to take a momentous step. It is time to proclaim a new kingdom. Yes, 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 yes. 
I'm at your command. The language of our documents are customary laws. Who should we use? The language and laws of the Northmen. All right. Uh, would institute the following. Sure. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. And I will name it the Kingdom of Rohan. Back to his roots, the proud Rohirrim. May Rohan forever be victorious. So it shall be. On the 19th day of autumn, 303, Ron declared the creation of a new realm, the Rohan. Okay, the Rohan, that doesn't make much sense. <laughs> but the kingdom of Rohan. Oh, he looks so good in that armor, man. The, the war room, everyone hanging out, plotting, strategizing on how he's going to conquer the seven kingdoms. Oh, I love it. Okay. Finally, Ron is officially king. So, now, if we were to come over to our party and speak to a certain Hallis Hornwood. No, I'm not looking to... Oh, wait, no, I need to, I need to leave first. That's right. Let's say. I mean, I kind of am looking to recruit him, but not like that. Hallis, let's talk, buddy. You're a good friend of mine. I'm a good friend of yours still. Well... If it comes down to you and me... You already said that. Alright. I have an offer for you. Join us and be set free. Now, he does have... One, two, three, four... Five fiefs. Okay. Alright, hold up. You are my friend, but even so, this is a risky conversation to have. As your friend, I would give you my word that I won't breathe a word to anyone else about this... 100% chance of critical success. See, this is what happens. Ron has so much charm skill. We chose a bunch of perks that make this easier for us, right? And in addition to that, he's got good relationship with all these guys. He's known as being honorable. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on now. Okay. Okay. You know very well that in politics, oaths are easily made, but just as easily broken. Mm, let's go. Come on. One more. One more. Oh, here we go. Rob Stark and I have been through a great deal together. Put your interests aside and the good of the realm first. There's too much at stake for that. Yes! Come on, baby! Oh, I see. Very well, you've convinced me that is something I can consider. This is a dangerous step, however, and I'm putting my life and the lives of my people at risk. I need some sort of support from you before I can change my allegiance. Oh, we're gonna have to pay him. How much? How much? What, what do you want? Oh, uh, one dinar? Jeez. I think I can afford that. Boom! Oh, the Hornwood clan has joined Rohan. He has been freed because of a peace declaration. Damn right. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, we're... Oh, my guys. We're about to have so many thieves now. Uh, just... I don't know. Upgrade everybody. Everyone's getting upgrades. House Greyjoy. Sure. Whatever. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the winning side. Oh, what is the... The Iron Islands? <laughs> now belongs to us. Seriously, look at that. All of a sudden... There's just one castle and one town that stands between Ron and owning the entirety of the Iron Islands. That's insane. Oh, that's so sick. Okay, uh, before we forget, let's manage the garrison. We're going to drop off the useless troops. Actually, oh my god, Ron's a king now. We can, we can carry all these troops easily. <laughs> that's beautiful. Oh, it brings a tear to my eye. Alright, you know what? I think this is a good point to stop this episode oh, holy shit has it been successful we we raised an entire new army we became rich we rebelled we took out rob ron personally wiped him out on the field of battle and now we recruited probably his most powerful vassal i don't think anyone else has this many fiefs we pretty much own the entire entire iron islands so next episode we're gonna go in we are going to try to continue recruiting lords if possible See if we can't find uh, old uh, Mage Mormont, Lady Mormont, the She-Bear. Get her to join us. Once we have the entire Iron Islands, we'll head south. We'll take out the old Lannister lands. And I think we'll be good to go. Gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you once again for coming out. 
Um, I will be back with more episodes more frequently. I, uh, you know, I had a busy week. I had to finish up. I had a big shelf exam at the end of the week, and my girlfriend came back after being away for a month on an audition, audition rotation. So this weekend, I didn't get much done. However, I've got chill rotations for the next three months, so I will have a lot more time to pump out the episodes. Until next time, as always, take it easy.